the first thing I'm going to do is take some nose wax or nose and scar wax, whichever you prefer. And I'm going to use this to create the texture of my scale. So I'm going to take a big chunk of it and spread this out over the areas where I want to create my grayscale, which is uh, for me mostly on my face. It's a lot easier to spread out over the tighter parts of skin, by the way, as you can see. Um, so do be sure to spread it so that it blends out a little bit, but also try to really maintain some kind of thicker parts because that is going to give the most kind of scaly texture later on. Don't worry about making it smooth, by the way. In fact, if it's a little bit kind of um, wobbly textured, then that is absolutely perfect. You're gonna see later. So really don't worry about making this too perfect, but do try to blend, out, blend it out a little bit. So next I'm going to take an object that I'm going to use to uh, draw in my scales. So I'm using this thin knitting needle here and I'm just going to kind of scratch into the wax and create these little scales. And I'm just wiping the needle on some uh, tissue paper every time and just drawing in my random shapes. So I'm making some larger scales and some smaller ones everywhere where I have the wax. So then I'm going to take this loose powder, which is slightly kind of yellowy skin colored, and I'm going to pat this on top of the wax, and this is going to help make a base for my colored eyeshadows later on. It just helps make the wax a little bit less sticky. So then it is time to start working on the coloring. So I'm going to start with a red eyeshadow. It might just crumbled and broke that's why it's in a little baggy but I am just going to apply this all around the edges of where I've applied the wax and this is going to create kind of a more irritated skin I'm going for a little bit of a later stage grayscale so more like Jora grayscale than kind of Shireen grayscale um, and kind of later stage grayscale definitely has a lot of redness around the skin as well so I'm creating redness all around and then in any of the larger cracks that I have in between my scales I'm also going to apply some red eyeshadow And then next I'm going in with a skin colored eyeshadow, which I'm going to apply all around the edges of my grayscale. So grayscale typically tends to be darker towards the inside or towards the center and then kind of spread outwards where it's a little bit lighter. So I'm just creating this skin color around the edges and I'm doing everything in powder from now on because cream on nose and scar wax just doesn't work that well. So I prefer to use powders only. So later on I decided to just go over everything with this skin color, just to have an even base. And then I'm finally going in with some grey. So I'm using this kind of brownish taupish color first. And again I'm going to work from light to dark, so I'm applying this lighter color kind of more on the outside. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker grey. And this time I'm going to try and stay away from the edges a little bit more and just fill in kind of the larger, um, more centered scales with this darker color. Okay, so then it's time to take a black eyeshadow and this eyeliner brush, and I am going to use this to color in between the cracks to make them look a little bit deeper and to kind of accentuate the scales a little bit better. So then I'm going over with just a fluffy eyeshadow brush and this kind of helps make it look a little bit more natural, helps to blend the edges a little bit. And then I went over with a small eyeshadow brush and a little bit of black eyeshadow to just deepen some of the kind of oldest, most advanced uh, scales of grayscale, just a little bit darker. And the last thing I did was to use the back of my brush to kind of push in the center of the scales. If you look closely at photos of grayscale from Game of Thrones, you can see that often the center is kind of dented in. So I decided to create one more piece of grayscale just underneath my eyebrow. And there is your look completely done. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your Halloween. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!